Hi everybody, it's Amalia, and I'm here today to show you some of the things I brought back from the Maryland Art Weekend. Every year, Patty Tally Parish, from the same name channel here on YouTube, has an art retreat down in Maryland, near Baltimore, and uh, it's a quick four-hour drive for me from New York City. So uh, I've gone for at least uh, four years, and actually the past two years because of COVID were not able to happen. So, um, so we were all really happy to get together again for this art retreat. For this particular retreat this year, everybody worked on their own projects. There are mixed media artists, uh, collage artists, um, uh, fiber artists, beaters, card makers, all sorts of artists in the room. And um, we all worked on our own projects this year. There were giveaways, shares, prizes, trades, just out and out gifts, and I'm gonna show you all of them. The first thing we got was from Paul and Joan Smithies, uh, the couple that comes from the UK uh, every year, and um, I believe their son has a 3D print machine. So in years past, they've made magnets for us, they've made stencil, stencils for us, and they made this tag for everyone um, for the event this year. It was a wonderful surprise. We have a lot of bookmakers in our group and I got a lot of notebooks and uh, journals made this year, uh, or made for me this year. And this is one um, from Claire. Uh, Claire put together this beautiful little book. She said to put it in my purse and keep notes in. And uh, it's gorgeous. It's got a wonderful texture on the top. It's made with material and all sorts of wonderful uh, little pages in between and I would love to grab this out of my pur purse and take notes into it. Elizabeth is a professional musician, teacher, beater, uh, fiber artist and uh, she asked me to select from a few of these and I decided to select this one. That little jar, by the way, I want, totally wanted to eat those, whatever was in that jar, <laughs> but I don't think it was candy. <laughs> um, she made this gorgeous piece and um, she put a, a, a little thing on the back with her business card and I could either add the pin to the back to pin it to my coat or my hat or do whatever I wish with it. Um, and I have some plans, I think. I'm gonna use it in a, in a big piece that um, I've been collecting uh, supplies to make and um, I just love it it's so beautiful it's so uh, artistic and thank you so much Elizabeth this is a card that Elizabeth made uh, it looks like the background in that oval there is alcohol ink it's a work of art I really do love it Gayla made this particular bookmark. Uh, Gayla works in lots of different mediums. Um, she and Kathy taught a class in metalwork, and uh, this lovely artistic bookmark is from um, Gayla. She does abstract work as well. The first hour of the retreat, she completed her first ab abstract painting. Laura hand painted and hand drew this beautiful teddy bear tag. Uh, I love the colors in it. I love her design and her style. My roomie Jan made this glue bottle pin charm dangle and I absolutely love it. She made one for everyone in the room personalized with their names and mine has a little disco ball on it and I just love it so much. Um, Jan, if you're watching, please comment below and tell me again what the special thing is about the sponge that it's made on, that it's put on rather. I forgot what you told me. Thanks. If anybody else knows, leave a comment below. This one was also made by Laura. It's just a little paperclip, you know, bookmark 
everything and I just love it. She also had a bunch to choose from and I picked that particular one. This one was a prize. Patty Tolly Parish used to have an Etsy site where she had her own manufactured uh, red rubber cling stamps and uh, I have a bunch of her stamps but she sh shut that down last year and uh, she just gave out some of the last remaining stock of her stamps. This is the first of many items Miss Penny gave me. Uh, this is uh, her ATC, I would say, and um, she designed it and had a little surprise in mind with it. There's a pullout, and this is a picture of the dinner we all went to back in 2019. Usually there's a dinner on that Saturday, we all go out, and uh, this is all of us at the hotel dining room where they serve all the meals. That was a really great little treat to see that. This other little treat is from Penny as well and it says it feels so good to be among friends and it's a little button with a picture uh, on every floor by the elevators of the conference center that we were in. They have these fishermen sailor type of figurines and so this is one that I think is on the first floor and um, she's really a lot of fun. She has created other buttons before in the past. Thanks, Penny. And here's another glorious treat from Miss Penny. Um, she shared with me some inks. There's two colors and they're very elegantly named colors, but basically one's a red and one's a blue. And she also included a pipette in it and um, Look at those gorgeous colors. These are inks, I was told, and they're beautiful. One of them is a little bit sparklier than the other, and the pipette is helpful for sucking up just a little bit of ink and then splatting it right onto your paper if you want to. Thank you so much, Penny. Here's another prize I won, and this is a spinning caddy and I absolutely love it. Charlene made this piece, and she also sent us the video from Eileen Hull, who shows how to make it, using some of her dies from Sizzix and Sizzix scoreboard. Uh, also with the caddy came these gel pens, which I absolutely love, of course, as well. Uh, I don't have any gel pens, so I'm really eager to check them out and use them. Look at this thing, it spins! I love it! It's made with Stamperia paper. It is gorgeous. Look at that, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I have a few of these mini tub things uh, across my desk and I'm gonna be able to condense it down uh, uh, to at least, I think, maybe just one. Look, this is where I keep a lot of my pens and scissors and other doohickeys and this is just another one filled with adhesive. I think I should be able to condense it down to just one. This is uh, just a gift that one of my table mates gave me. It's some French dictionary paper. It's lovely, it's large size, it's aged, so I should be able to use this in something. I love it so much, thanks CB. This is another prize or giveaway. It's a small size notebook, which I think is perfect. I've been watching some recent cat hand videos and she's working in um, a book close to this size as well. And that's just inspiring me to look up some more of her videos. And of course, that magnetic tablet and pen will always come in handy in the kitchen. Our friend Lori handed out some beautiful green teas and uh, these lovely glassine bags to everyone. And uh, this is also her ATC card. Uh, she uh, was at the event recuperating from a major surgery and she is doing f amazingly. She is a champ. She is just wonderful. God bless you, Lori. I found this surprise at my desk one morning, and uh, guess who it's from? Yes, that's right, it's from Penny. 
Penny. <laughs> Penny is amazing. Um, this brush, she included this brush in this gift. And my very first one of these type of brushes for crafting uh, was one that Penny gave us uh, a few years ago. And um, thanks again, Penny. And uh, this four ink pen is fabulous. These were all a rage back in the 80s when I was in school. And uh, this one has these fabulous colors in it. They're real they write so well they show up uh, on paper and uh, this is a fabulous pen I'm gonna have a lot of fun using this also included in the kit from Penny was this great rotary cutter and cutting mat as well as a scraper thanks so much Penny this next item was from the share table and it has uh, a f embossing folder, directions, dies, and stamps. Um, uh, it's from Diamond Even Press. Even if there's something missing from this kit, I'm sure I'll be able to use it. This is fabulous. Again, this is from the share table. This is a gift from Kathy. Kathy and Gayla are both metal workers or they taught a class one year on working with metal, soft metals. And uh, she created a project kit for everybody. She included some sari ribbon, some uh, papers uh, for us to play with, and um, just expressed her gratitude and be able to meet with us all uh, again after uh, the pandemic. Thank you so much, Kathy. The share table, and this is all Tim Holtz, um, cardboard backed ephemera people I don't know what it's called officially but uh, it's his family members portraits I think they may be called I don't know but this is fabulous I already have some ideas of what to do with this and god I hope I get to implement it because I always have so many ideas This Dilution stamp set was also on the share table, and I walked by it several days before I finally picked it up. I thought somebody else might pick it up, but that, I think, was supposed to belong to me, so I picked it up. This swatch book is from April, and this little pot holder thing is also from April. It's supposed to stick onto your desk so it doesn't move and topple over. That's an ink pot right there and uh, she created a swatch book for all of us. April has an Etsy shop called A Little Creative Me, and uh, she sells watercolor paints and things of that nature. This was another prize or giveaway, I forget what she was calling them, but it's just some uh, Tim Holtz rub-ons. I will find a use for these for sure. Here's another item from the share table. This is a Tim Holtz rosette die, and uh, I have one of his other ones, but I didn't have this one. This was my name tag at the table that uh, Patty made, and I'm keeping that for sure. This is also another item. Uh, remember this tag I showed you? Well, Paul and Joan created this as well. This is amazing. This was supposed to be given to us for the 2020 uh, event, but of course we didn't make it because of COVID. And this is unbelievable. I just love this. This is for paint brushes. And I'm guessing um, there's like a hollow there uh, where you can I'm guessing that you can put an easel there. I just put that card there, but that hollow is as thick as my finger, so I'm thinking you could put an easel there to paint on directly. Whatever it is, whatever it's for, it is amazing, it's fabulous, and I will cherish this. One also makes stencils that she sells under Patty Tolly Parish's uh, ID um, at iStencils.com, so check that out. Um, she made some additional art pieces here. These are just beautiful. I love these envelopes. Uh, 
These are some uh, beautiful ATCs by CB, also known as Carol Boudreau, and she was one of my table mates. She made three of them, and uh, she does a series of portraits, of uh, usually of women, and uh, she makes ATC cards out of them. They are just beautiful. She is such a wonderful artist. These are all hand-drawn. This gorgeous little book was made by Charlene. She walked over to me with a basket full of these little books. There must have been 50 in there, um, all made differently with different paper. And um, I picked out this one. This one is Tim Coffey paper. I recognized it right away. This is handmade, divided into signatures, and bound with a beautiful binding. I don't show it very well here, but it's, it's fantastic. Here's another prize, which um, is a pencil bag and uh, a brush roll. This is beautiful, really well made. Next items were from the share table. This is just a little plastic change purse. I loved it. I thought I'd keep it as a memento. And this was a bag of beads and baubles that I just thought were unique. And uh, if I don't keep them and use them for myself, I know who I can give it to to take advantage of and use them. Uh, this was also at the share table and Doctor Who fans will know what this is. I don't know what it is. I think it's called TARDIS and I don't remember what the other thing is called. Gallic? Dalek? <laughs> this is uh, something my table mate Tam gave me. She thought I'd like these stamps and I definitely do and I'm going to be using them in my uh, clay designs. This is also from Tam and this is her art. She makes them on larger pieces of paper, scans them, and then prints out cards. And I have quite a collection of her wonderful art. Thank you, Tam. Packet of goodies and this ATZ with the wobble on it, <laughs> which I love, is made by Zandra. She has a YouTube channel called Scraps to Beauty by Zandra. I love this watercolor thing that she gave us. I'm going to enjoy using it. Here's a sticker with some of her art on it. I love it. I got several of these packets on my table. This one is from Diane, and she's from Gettysburg, PA, not too far from where we were. Diane made several amazing, beautiful pieces and I'm just gonna let you enjoy them.
Diane, this was so beautiful, so lovely. Thank you so much. This next packet is from my roomie Jan, another notebook which I could always use and I love. This is a glue bottle, thank you, to go with the glue topper that she gave me. This thing, I really don't know what it's for, but it's squishy and I think I might use it as a wrist rest for the computer. And if you guys know what it's for and uh, use it for other things, let me know what you use it for. She also included some of this beautiful, uh, what I think is origami paper, and I love this paper. This to me is reminiscent of um, the 1930s to 1940s, maybe, maybe a little bit of the 50s, uh, but I love that particular era, uh, the golden age of Hollywood, and just uh, in general this really reminds me actually of a sofa cover from um, one of my grandmother's sofas and I just love this stuff some more book paper which is always helpful for collage and art journaling some more dictionary pages so I don't have to tear into my own dictionary this one is interesting because um, I believe that's Japanese which should be a lot of fun to work with Again, more book pages. Oh, this one is so good. Look how aged that one is. Love that one. I think that's Russian on there, which is very fabulous. Interesting writing. Jan also included this really interesting piece of mesh that I'm going to have a lot of fun using. This next packet is from Patty Tally Parish, the event coordinator and originator extraordinaire. She included some of the amazing papers. I'm sorry I'm using the word amazing so many times, but I was and am still amazed uh, by all of these, this paper. This is the paper that she uses for jelly printing and collage, so I'll be interested to use it on my own. I believe this is typewriter paper that I was holding up to see the watermark on, which reminds me I have someone that someone lovely sent me that I'm going to have to dig back out. And um, this is just some of her uh, jelly prints. This is on a type of, it looks like a butcher paper, but I'm not really sure. But I am thrilled to pieces to have some of the pieces that she made. This is paper that I'm sure she's purchased and then inked all up. Definitely love the doilies. I'm just floored by her sharing all of this beautiful scrumptiousness with me. I know a lot of this she created. Look at this. How is this done? This is on deli paper or tissue and it's ink and other stuff on top but I wouldn't know where to start to do that that's probably some of her brush scripting there uh, either over a stencil and then some paint on top of that look at that these are individual pieces or <laughs> to me they're works of arts on their own so I'm gonna stop talking and just let you look and admire
Here's the final packet, and this one is from Claire. It includes some wonderful little tidbits like this rock that has some printing on it, raised printing, and uh, a piece of paparazzi jewelry. Love it! <laughs> uh, it includes some papers, like some sample wallpapers, I believe, and some really cool printed napkins, really cool printed napkins, and I'll just let you take a look. This is player piano paper. Hey everybody, if you like this video, please click thumbs up and leave a comment below. I'm going to share with you two of the tags that I made out of the 22 uh, that I gave out at the event. I also brought uh, a large tote, tote um, you know, plastic tote, uh, fill of supplies, about a 10 inch stack of 12 by 12 paper, paper pads, punches, stamps, um, ephemera, cardboard letters, uh, all sorts of stuff filled to the brim. It was the heaviest piece <laughs> that I transported to the event. Uh, as part of my giveaways, uh, as part of my share table contribution, there was about five different tables filled with items to just pick and choose from that everybody donated. It was really pretty special. I didn't buy too many items uh, during this road trip. We did stop by Blix and I got some clearance items. Uh, I got these acrylic pens, uh, acrylic paint pens, I got these fine tip multicolor pens, and I also got this huge Mama Jamma black acrylic ink marker, and I tested on the receipt just now just to make sure that it works. Um, I also got that Tim Holtz um, sentiment strips thing just to help finish off making the tags that I made. I usually go to Tuesday mornings all up and down the New Jersey Turnpike. Uh, I make stops at Hobby Lobby on my drive, either there or back home. Uh, I didn't do any of that this year. Uh, they closed a lot of the Tuesday mornings and um, I stopped by one Hobby Lobby to pick up that Tim Holtz thing and, and that's about it this year have to show you today I'll have more stuff to show you like some of the projects I completed and some of the other projects that I'm still working on from that weekend uh, but that's it for now thanks so much for stopping by and taking a look please leave a comment below and thanks so much again everybody bye